In today's video, I'll be doing the eggnog challenge. Getting drunk and painting something terrible which will go on my wall forever. Eating an entire bag of weird flavored Lay's potato chips, and more things you guys dared me to do in the comment section. For this first dare, you guys asked me to do the eggnog challenge. Matt, you know when the last time I had eggnog was? Yeah, I think I can remember. Yeah. It was actually- it That was, was literally it? the last time I've tasted eggnog. I think eggnog. it was like three years ago now. Yeah. So for this next dare, you guys have asked to do the eggnog challenge, which is becoming quite a tradition for us. The goal is to drink one gallon of eggnog without vomiting, which is- Not possible. This will do it right here. I don't even know why we got these extra ones. I'm very not excited about doing this, but tis the season to puke your fucking brains out. And Santa's on the, the cover here, and he looks sick already. He looks like he's about Vomit. Oh, is this still good? No. Is this like <laughs> it's expired? Not good. Yeah, it's expired. <laughs> Duh. You have to expire it before it can be eggnog. First, it's milk, <laughs> and then they change the label on it once it turns yellow and chunky. You know that's not good, it, right? It seems that's yeah. What did you think? No, nope, we're good. We're ready. Are you changing your mind about putting rum in it? Do you want to put rum in it now? No, I don't. Do you guys want us to put rum in it? <laughs> That's what's really important here. Huh. We can't decide. Let me know, should I get Jack totally wasted for a video? Like this video if you think that Jack should butt chug a gallon of eggnog. I can't even say it. I can't even get through the one. Look at it, it's so old that the glue Dude, doesn't even doing? stick anymore. You're like doing the condom challenge with it. <laughs> Alright, first I want you guys to leave me a comment. Let me know if you guys think that Jack should butt chug a gallon of eggnog. Serious question. To get some thumbs up. I'll do it. <laughs> I got you on video saying that. <laughs> yeah! Fuck you, man! <laughs> Alright, well, Jeff, cheers. Oh, shit. Mmm. Oh, yeah, I changed my mind. I'm not doing this shit. What the hell, dude? It's gross when you're doing good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? I had it! Man, I had it. You know, I can just keep out of it. Dude, what the fuck, man? We gotta sit here and drink eggnog for an hour now. Why do we have to do it for an hour? We have to do it until we've learned our lesson. Alright, now we're back to drinking eggnog. I think I've already won this challenge. It's me versus Jack. Honestly. You made me laugh, bro. This is not a try not to laugh challenge. Use a ho ho ho. Cheers. Oh fuck. I have to drink more of this no bond so you can't have any. It's all the nog. That's the thing. It's the nog and the egg. The egg is fine. The, the, the nog is what gets you. This tastes like it's rotten. I'm pretty sure we're drinking expired egg dump. I think they just used expired eggs in the egg dump. <laughs> I can't believe I threw up the first five seconds. Eggnog will just sit there for like 10 minutes and then all of a sudden you'll see a bubble come up. It's like, what is, is there like somebody <laughs> down there? Like, alive in it? Yeah, it's Santa's special holiday liquid. It's all thick and gooey. Oh, it's not on the table. Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know that's true. I don't know where I'm gonna try to puke. I'm gonna try to puke on you. I will <laughs> fucking puke on you right after that. If it's like projectile eggnog, then I'll probably point it at the camera. <laughs> I wish this was 3D. <laughs> Oh, it's close. It's gonna happen. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna throw up and then shit my pants. <laughs> I swear to God, I was thinking the same thing. Honestly, I wanted to say that, just the... <laughs> Fuck you, Matt. I don't wanna play anymore. Unfortunately, most of the vomiting happened later off screen, but rest assured this has ruined a little bit of Christmas for me. The next thing you guys dared me to do is the paint and sip challenge. If you've never heard of a sip and paint, it's when fancy people get smashed on wine while painting something on a canvas. Usually while an instructor is scrambling around trying to fix everyone's mistakes. But we decided that an instructor would just limit our creativity and the amount of alcohol we could drink. So we got a bottle of wine with dinner, and another bottle of god knows what, and got to painting. All right, that is the cheapest bottle of champagne I think I've ever bought in my life. We have a couple of canvases behind me. We're already a little bit tipsy, if I'm honest with you. We went out to eat, we had a couple too many glasses of champagne. Now we've got another bottle of champagne, two blank canvases, and whatever the outcome is for what we're about to paint is gonna go up on our walls forever, which is kind of a big deal. <laughs> Cheers. Woo! Oh, and this also happens to be the first time I've ever painted something on a canvas. I must say that I do not have a knack for painting whatsoever. I've been able to paint a few pumpkins here and there, but never actually something on a canvas. I feel like that's a big, big difference. All right, down goes the nice painting that I actually like. And then up goes this stupid thing. Perfect. 
I may find a more permanent spot for that later, like behind a bookshelf or something. I think the worst part about that challenge is that Kristen's was way, way, way better than mine. I would much rather be hanging this on my wall than that. I kind of copied the design off of something I saw on Amazon. Their version was a lot better than this though. And Kristen saw a tutorial online on how to paint one of these, so I probably should have done that instead. <laughs> and that being said, we are on to the next air. Next up, you guys dare me to eat an entire bag of some weird flavored laced potato chips as fast as I can. For this next air, a lot of you guys have been asking me to try out some of the new chip flavors from the Do Us A Flavor Lace competition. I have a bag of cheddar bacon mac and cheese flavored laced potato chips. Mm. I've never had these before, but something tells me they're gonna be kind of nasty. I don't know, I mean I like all of the things that are in this, but somehow imagining that on a chip seems kind of gross. I'm going to see if I can take down this entire bag in three minutes. One of the worst things about this challenge is that stuffing your mouth full of potato chips as fast as you can will inevitably cut the shit out of the roof of your mouth. Not to mention that my official review of this chip is that they are fucking nasty. However, I'm sure they'd be a lot more tolerable if I was consuming in moderation, which obviously I was not. Not quite finished. Well, I have definitely failed that challenge, but I'm going to try to see this thing through. Well, after however long that was, I can now say that I am officially chipped out. While I was eating all that stuff, I had plenty of time to read the nutritional facts, and knowing that I've now eaten thousands of calories of potato chips brings us to a whole new level of disgusting. And I am always up for a good challenge, so leave me your dares in the YouTube comment section, Facebook, or Twitter. Links for those are in the description. And remember to get as crazy or as creative with these dares as you'd like. And if you're down there anyways, maybe you could like the video, subscribe if you've yet to have done that, and as always, I'll be seeing you guys in just a few days with a new video. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.